guys, how's it going? Right, it's Wednesday morning. I've just been over to the shop, get some breakfast. Bam, it's gorgeous out there. It's sunny. It's two days before Christmas. And I have to bottle Paul. Um, notice I didn't say I wanted to bottle Paul. Nobody wants to do bottling. I have to do it, it's the only time I could do it, I've been putting it off, I could have, should have done it the weekend, but nah, I didn't do that. Um, you might want to ask me why I'm not putting it in my keg, well my keg's full up with something called beer at the moment, so I'm going to have to bottle the old pool, but first, thing, first things first. It's early, I need some breakfast, so I've just been over to the shop, got some bread, and I've got some hot dogs. I quite like having hot dogs uh, for breakfast. That's just me, beautiful, bit of mustard, bit of ketchup, yummy. But anyway, right, I'm, the way I'm going to do the bottling is, because I've got this um, PET, uh, better bottle carboy and I've got the hops on it as you've seen um, I'm gonna bottle it I'm gonna stick my auto siphon down there and I'm gonna attach my auto siphon to the bottling wand so my plan is I'm gonna lay out all the bottles in a big bucket sort of thing and then I'm just gonna ch -ch 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 like that I was thinking about filming it, but um, I've never done it this way, and I don't want the added stress of trying to get the shot right, me, and then beer going everywhere and all sorts, because I normally use a bottling bucket, but um, I, I've gone over from using bottling buckets uh, to carboys and stuff. So I've made the transition from plastic fermenters to glass carboys and um, a PET secondary carboy and I just want to carry on doing it that way time for changing it but yeah okay so I won't be filming any of that but I will uh, come back later on and tell you how it went fingers crossed but I'd like to show you some beers that I've got the new Rising Tides from Siren 2015. Look at that, awesome. What else did I get? Oh, yep. Counting Vampires from Siren. Uh, what else did I get? Oh. I sort of stumbled across <laughs> some dogfish head. This is the continually hot India Pale Ale, 60 minute IPA, uh, and here I've got two of them, so I've got the last two, unfortunately I've got the last two of these, that was in the shop, and also I managed to score, <laughs> uh, no, it's the 90 minute Imperial IPA dogfish head. So I've got two of them. <laughs> well, basically, the the shop was shut on Monday, and I thought, oh no, um, do I go down there on Tuesday morning? I thought sod it. It's only like a fifteen minute drive, so I went down there. The last time I went down there, and they said that they had some in on their website. I got in there. I goes, have you got any dogfish head? No, sorry, we sold out. So I was expecting these to be sold out. Uh, I thought it was going to be a wasted journey, apart from me, obviously, getting the Rising Tide, which is awesome. But, yeah, I got there and there was, I looked around the shop and I'm like, I can't see these dogfish yet. I was like, should I ask in a minute? And then, luckily, I saw these, these four. And I'm like, um, so are these the only ones that you got left? And she went, yeah. I'm like, and I felt a little bit guilty about taking both of them but then I thought well no because obviously they've had stock in there um, 
and these bottles have only been in there for like four days and everybody's basically gone and taken them all so I thought it's a doggy dog out there I'm gonna take them sorry guys but um, yeah so hopefully next time they're in now that I've tried them if I can I'll buy what I can from them and if you're lucky I might send them to you but anyway right so I'm gonna get on have my breakfast sort all the bottles out yawn god I hate doing that and then bottle fingers crossed eh right so I'll be back I'll be back right then guys so I've siphoned all my beer using that bottling wand into these bottles oh, look at that There's shit loads of hops in there so there we go uh, I'll flip the camera around and then I'll explain what happened right so there you have it I bottled my beer which is called Paul right using the auto siphon and the bottling wand damn that was tricky <laughs> I think it's a two-man job but I did it solo basically I put the bottling wand into my first bottle and then I started you know moving the auto siphon up and down to get the suction going and at first it wouldn't it, it wouldn't go because it because the bottling bucket wasn't the little nozzle wasn't pressed down so unless that's pressed down you can't get the actual flow to go through so i had a bit of a nightmare so i'm there doing that i'm holding a bit of the uh, hose with my knee and stuff and oh mate at first i thought shit uh, i can't continue it it's just not it's just not working i wish somebody filmed me doing it and it's like oh god but eventually I got it going but when I did get it going I lost a bit of beer because I was concentrating what I was doing up here and um, because I had somehow I had the bottom one pressed down into the bowl and it overflowed and then I took it off and I found that it was it was all right so I put it into the next bowl and it seemed to work awesome uh, the the good thing about the the five I, I think it's the it's the larger O siphon is the thickness of of the hose that you need to use it was quite thick so I had somehow attached that to my bottling wand and basically this has got to be the quickest bottling I've ever done in my life it was just zzz, done next one zzz, done it's like wow so pros and cons yeah if you're gonna do it solo it's a pain in the ass but once you get going awesome and i didn't have much beer, beer left in the um battle bottle which was good yeah and it smelled absolutely delicious so i can't wait for that so now i've cleared all i've cleared up i think i'm gonna have a beer so yeah anyway so that's me done for this year I think maybe I might make one make another video Christmas Day I've got some awesome beers to drink so so as always cheers for watching and I'll catch you in the next video